Hey guys, Charlani here. We have lots to do today. It is a full business day, which means we're packing orders, we're doing some product restocking, we're gonna be working on some social media, doing some general office work, but we're also throwing in some errand running and doing a little bit of shopping. Now I'm looking for some new office equipment and a couple of things for the studio, but then we also have groceries to stock up on. So I'm happy that you're here and if you'd like to hang out with me, let's get into it. Hey guys, Charlani here. Welcome back to the vlog. Today is a busy day with I think just about a little bit of everything. Last time I left you, we were about to launch our newest product line uh, over on Live Happy Label. And I just have to say that it was amazing and for anybody who ordered from my shop or who just showed up in social media for me, I appreciate you so much. We got all of our launch orders out over the weekend and now I have a few more orders that just came in over the last like 12 hours. So we'll pack all of those up. I've got errands to run. I feel like I'm now getting back into my daily routine of life. <laughs> We're kind of like this last several probably two months, three months really were just prepping for this latest launch, the revamp of the website, and everything went according to plan. I actually only screwed up a couple of things on this launch, and what's really cool is that I'm learning as I go. And every time we have a launch, something else gets tweaked and something else gets tweaked in. I would say that this past launch, absolutely a success. So like I said, we have a lot to get done. I do have a few orders that I need to pack. So we're gonna go ahead and get those packed up. Um, my goodness, like this week is going to be busy and Rob's birthday is on Sunday, which is exciting. We have my sister is coming to visit. My son is coming to stay with us for a few days. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, but anyhow, today we got lots of different things to do business wise and then personal wise too. This morning I've been playing around with just new product ideas, they're ideas at this point. I'm unsure of what I, well, I know exactly what I wanna do. <laughs> it's just now a matter of how to get it done, can I create it, all of those things. But, so we unpacked this paper cutter. I think I figured out how to really properly use it. And I think I'll just get better, but it really is like, it's a beast. I did consider taking it back and then getting something that's not so heavy duty, so hefty like this, but I think I figured it out. I was having an issue with cutting just one piece of paper, like it kept doing that to it, but I figured it out. So we're able to cut just one piece of paper, but I'm just playing around with things and I got to look at laminating machines too. I'm going to go to Staples and I want to see what kind of laminating things they have there. And I was playing around with the different sized papers. You can kind of see there, like we've got the cover and then this is regular A5 size here. And then this is half letter size. So I'm learning so much about paper and what I want things to look like. And it's just, it's been a lot of fun to try and just see what I like, what works. And I can tweak these things up here. But even just like things like this, playing around with it, what I love about being able to do this myself <laughs> is that I know exactly what I want and I will create it, but then there's always tweaking time. <laughs> time for me to go in and just kind of like fine tune the micro details. And it's so hard to do that when you're working with manufacturers or other people, which is why I think I had said in the last vlog that 
I would like to get my own printer, like a pretty hefty printer, good quality printer, one that can do high quality paper and kind of print some things on my own. Because one of the biggest things is like, and I'm hoping that you're gonna be able to see, don't focus on my face, but there's like two pieces of paper here. There's this one and then this one. And there's a very small space in between, but it's so hard to, if you're working with an outside designer or an outside paper company to be like, can you just, I just wanna see it, try it by moving it over an eighth of an inch. <laughs> A quarter of an inch like just little micro movements if I do these things here at home I'm able to do that so one of the other things is so I priced I called our printer and I wanted to know like what's the difference and even in the difference between a half letter size and you guys I'm learning all of this stuff too I very much am like I like that I know what that looks like, I want that. But there are terms <laughs> that you need to learn. Half letter, which is the size of all of our notepads, um, all of our daily to-do notepads. They're half letter, which is five and a half by eight and a half. And then I'm looking now into a five size to possibly go into binders. And that is, like it's just off by a little tiny bit. It's a little bit thicker or wider and then a little bit shorter. And the difference of adding in just this half inch or quarter of an inch to a cover sheet is the difference between like dollars in how they cut it, which is, crazy if you think about it so little so I don't know thinking we might want to bring some of the parts of creating this stuff in house because then I can perfect it anyhow we've had a whole lot going on here <laughs> over these last few weeks for sure I dropped it so let's get some orders packed so I can get those taken care of we got to go to the post office and then just today's a work day. And then we have errands. We have lots of errands to run. Now I should have made up a bunch of boxes beforehand, <laughs> but I did not. So let's gotta make some boxes. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then I need five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's make some boxes. do just a little bit of restocking I'd like to just have this all down here when all of this area is stocked up it makes packing orders so much easier so I discontinued the dark and moody design and these sold a lot <laughs> So I'm gonna restock all of this. We should be good for a while.
This is how we know that my sister's coming stuff starts showing up at our house for her. <laughs> We're gonna play with some new designs. Plastic poly bags. we can do though is make sure that the sizing is right. I order things in smaller quantities on Amazon in case I need to return things, like if the sizing is way off and I'm never gonna be able to use it, it's a lot easier to return things on Amazon than it is to return things um, but from like Uline. And then if you order the wrong size and you customized it with your own branding, uh, that's not returnable at all. You just got to eat it. <laughs> so you got to really make sure that you're ordering the right things. So these I will keep, these bubble wrappers. I am going to return the black poly bags because that was not the color that I ordered, that I wanted. Not, I probably did order it. <laughs> I just ordered the wrong one. Anyhow, I also got these, these little trays right here because I'm going to be making sets of inserts and this will just help kind of keep them organized. These are makeup trays. It'll be perfect for what I need them for. And then like I said, we also have the A5 paper. I'm so excited to play around with this. I have some design type things I want to play with for things that I want into the shop that I want to kind of customize and make myself. but. That's down the road. <laughs> this is just for fun now. Now that we have like lots of, you know, smaller things to pack up, I actually need more counter space. So I don't know, down, I mean, not right this second, this isn't gonna happen in the next week or two, but it's something I'm definitely gonna need to think about because it'll make my life so much easier. And it's almost like, should I just get another one of these? I'll have to measure and just make sure that it would fit between here and here because I can move all of this. In fact, I want to move my printer 
and the label printer, I want that to be here. It's going to be ugly, but man, it would make my life so much easier if I were to be able to just have that stuff here. So I don't know. We'll see. But for now, it works. It works. And that feels good too. <laughs> we're stocked up up there. just sold out <laughs> of our blue portfolios. We are officially in the car and running errands now. <laughs> I actually, I rewrote my to-do list. So we, we've got everything. We got to go to Target. We have to go to PetSmart, Staples, Post Office. And if time allows, I'm going to return those bags to an Amazon drop-off. But I don't know if we're going to have time to do that. So we'll see. Let's go run errands. All right, we are here at PetSmart and we've got uh, Staples right across the way. I wanna go and I just wanna price out their laminators and I wanna take a peek at some printers. Uh, so we're gonna go do those two things here and then we have Target where I'm gonna get a couple of bins um, and then I gotta get some grocery type things.
grocery bill is probably going to be the same amount as our grocery bill this week. And if we were going straight home, I totally would have gotten uh, feeders for the fish, but I don't know, we'll have to see. Maybe after Target, we'll go to the PetSmart that's by our Target and we'll get feeders because they haven't had feeders probably in a couple of months. So like they get fish food and pellets and stuff, but our big Oscars, maybe we'll get them feeders. We'll see how we feel. As much as I want to go to Kirkland's, we're not going to go there. <laughs> we don't have time for that today, but we will go to Staples. I have always been a fan of HP, but from what I'm hearing in the research I've done, Epson is like kind of the best of what I'm looking for. And this, when I did medical billing, this was the printer I had, loved it. Wish I still had it. And I'm so mad at myself that I gave it away, but well, it went to a good home, so it's fine. But it is actually, I could totally use it now for what I want. Hey, they only have a very small selection of Epsons. So this is the one that I have done a lot of research on. And I think I like this one, but I'm kind of looking for this one. And I don't, I don't see it here. Hmm. Interesting. But I do like that. Look at, I mean, that's a hundred dollars off. That's pretty good. I don't really have a lot here paper wise. I'm looking for card stock. Maybe it's somewhere else. Oh, well, here we go. Linen. And then woven. Let's see what the difference is. Oh, it's thin. Okay, well here we go with the laminator. That's what I'm looking for, 50 bucks. All right. I am not sure that I have ever left Staples with nothing, not even a pen. <laughs> not that I need any of that stuff, but very rare. So good to know that they have that there, but I think it's cheaper online. So I'm gonna look, it's $50 there. I'll go online and we'll see, because I do know that if you get it online, it usually comes with a pack of the laminating pouches. So we'll compare and then we'll get what's least expensive. <laughs> Rob asked for this one and that one. I sent Rob pictures and I said, which one do you want? And he said, all of them, please. He's going to try them out and see which one he likes best. goodness look at all my bins are 20% off <laughs> oh man I just bought a bunch of these last week that's okay it is what it is oh it's plastic I'm like $10 that's a really good price for that Alright guys, 
guys. Well, thanks for hanging out with me. Oh, I was also gonna say, vlogs like what we did today is very indicative, I think, of how our <laughs> vlogs from here on are going to go. It's gonna be a little bit of like studio work with me kind of vlogging. Um, and then we do a little bit of shopping and running errands and things like that because this truly is what my life is now. <laughs> so I hope that's okay with you. All right, guys. Thanks again for hanging out with me. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.